to the channel so today is another crazy day for uh, Excel technologies as we hit another 52 week low the stock today is down 3.85 percent trading at 18 cents and as you guys can see the stock actually opened at 19 cents and since then has dropped to 18 cents uh, the 52 week range is from 18 cents all the way up to five dollars 45 cents volume is still quite high so i still suspect people are loading up on exceller shares average volume is 37 million but today we have 40 million shares that have exchanged hands and we still have about an hour to the close of market now exceller technologies has been having quite a, an interesting week uh, starting from I would say uh, last week and including this week uh, they announced for example yesterday that uh, they Just renewed a five-year contract with a leading Irish bank and that deal is worth 19 million dollars also uh, they also expect to deploy about 200 million dollars in expected pro proceeds for the next step in capital deployments in the next step in their capital deployment strategy and for that they will need to seek the approval of share uh, buyback dividends debt repurchase and sale of assets um, so there's quite a few things that's going on with the company and uh, i see that they are now i, I think at 17 thousand uh employees which is uh, a little hike you know before they were at 16 uh, 000, i think 400 so they've added to their uh, the number of people they have working there and that is a good thing uh, because it shows that the company is uh, seeking to get into new markets and expand at a time when the world is reopening so that is where we are sitting uh, they've had quite a few uh, you know PR you know of late and I think everything is pointing towards uh, the right direction on June 3rd, for example, they also uh, had a new the news that came out that Excella Technologies uh, they announced a new XBP contracts with a, that totaled 18.3 million dollars, and they also you know brought on board a new chief technology officer. So the company is moving in the right direction, just that it's not getting any love from the uh, from Wall Street. At the very top of your screens guys you can see what is happening on the market today it is not pretty s p 500 is down 0.98 percent the dow 30 is down 0.87 percent nasdaq is down 0.55 percent uh russell 2000 is down 1.63 percent the only thing that seems to be in the green is crude oil which is trading at almost 123 dollars a barrel so be, uh, do be careful as you make your uh, choice for uh, investing over the next couple of days to weeks uh, the economy is still very weak and trending downward uh, so uh, we are still looking for a strong signal from the feds and uh, the biden administration to show what direction they want to take the economy and that you know builds confidence with uh, captains of industry and also other stakeholders in the uh, global economy this us sets the tone and everybody else uh, follows so uh, this is a good opportunity to uh, reset you know uh, the global economy because irrespective as uh, you know the us economy is hurting and most of the global economy is hurting you have to pay close attention to some of the emerging markets like china uh, those uh, economies they tend to take every single advantage they can if they have the opportunity so uh, this is not the time to uh, you know be sleeping on the on the on the pitch you have to be on your a game when especially when uh, the u.s consumers are hurting so that's where we are sitting with uh, Exceller Technologies, another 52-week low. Uh, it's just been very painful to see how this uh, stock, the stock of this company, is just slowly declining. You can see on the graph over the past five days, and uh, we can only hope that you know at some point we see some kind of reversal. But 
so far it has just been a daily decline with no end in sight anyways thank you for your time on your way out please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys on the next video bye now